Last time I was in Italy was 2001, and that's when I met Flavio. I haven't kept up with the guy. I haven't emailed him, I haven't called him, nothing. How do you read this GPS? Dude, is it in Italian or is it? Here, look at it. See if you can turn like the volume up or something or put it in English or something. I know he lives near Venice. I'm hoping I can find his place. You think you can do this right? Just go straight. Oh, you're good. <laughs> you're good. This is starting to look familiar. Make a left right here. That's where it says. I got the flag. There's a motorcycle. Oh, yeah, there, that's his motorcycle. All right. That's his Laverta right there. Awesome. <laughs> Does this look familiar? Yeah, totally. This is it. That's kind of good shot. This guy's shop or something? He didn't have a shop last time I was here. Yeah. Flavio. Mike. 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 Yes. This is David here. <laughs> no, David's not no, here. No, this no. is Frank. Hey. Frank. Hello, Frank. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice My to meet Flavio. you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Do you, do you like to come inside? Yes, yes heck sure. yeah. We are looking for leads, and I know you know people. 13 years ago, Mike came in Italy to buy some Vespas, Lambrettas, or some bikes also. I think I can help you. You know some I people? Know, I know some people. He knows yeah. everybody. I have some bike to sell, but it's not mine. One, one, uh, one man died, and his family gave this this bike to, to sell to me. So oh, you're, so you're like he, you're like handling the estate. For the I guy. can show. I can. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can show. I can show. Okay. show you. All right. Someone passed away, and they had a couple motorcycles, and he's selling them for him. So he's basically brokering these bikes. Oh wow! Ah, K now we're talking. KS750. Bam. We see it. KS750. Zundop. With sidecar. Yeah, with sidecar. Yeah. Zundop. Oh, now we're yeah. talking. Zundop. Let me see. Ah. The Zundop KS. It's a very rare bike the German army used in the Second World. Get on, Flavio, yeah, let's go. I, I drive. Let's go. Here we let's go. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> they made these bikes from 1940 to 1948. When the Germans approached Zundop, what they wanted was a motorcycle that could carry three soldiers and everything that they needed, all their equipment with them. Check this out, Frankie. You know what that? Yeah, it was machine gun. <laughs> There was also ammunition boxes I've seen in photographs strapped to the front of the sidecar. This thing was incredible. Check this out. Shaft driven. Right. And then a shaft through the axle here, the wheel. That's why it was the all terrain. The wheel is shaft driven as well. Get you through the mud. It's the ultimate all-terrain vehicle. So how much is it? Quanto costa? Uh, this costs 12,000 euros. What's 12,000 euro, Frankie? How much is that? He can do the numbers, really. He's like Mr. Abacus. Yeah. You're going to add on 30%. So that's 15,600. Oh, that's a style cramper. So 12,000 euro, huh? Do you think it's crazy? These are extremely no. rare, man. I, I tell you what, you never see these in the States. You see them in books or in a museum, but to actually see a farm fresh, sweaty KS750 Zundop, that's unheard of. So come, come over into my office here. Let's talk some business. Come next to me, my friend. Oh. Yeah. oh, this is like old times, like old times. Yeah, yeah, well, Me and you. What? You want me to throw a number at you? I'll be, you want me to be the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, I'll be yeah, the first yeah, out of the yeah. gate. Wild Stallion, mm. 7,000 euro. That's not enough. I've it's, seen that look before. It's not enough. It's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> OK. 13 years later. Mike doesn't give me a good deal. I can sell for probably for uh, 11,000 euros. I know, what, I know what I could sell this for in the US. I'm just trying to figure out, OK, shipping. And that's another thing I was going to ask you about, too. Yeah. Remember last time when we were here, we dropped a container off. You loaded yeah, I know the container, the, yeah, I know there and then, is, and then they the picked the container up here. I'm wondering if you could do that for us yeah. again. Uh, when I, we dropped I, the container yeah, and you yeah, loaded yeah, the container yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The great thing about looking at a motorcycle at Flavio's, if we can buy it, is that he is the guy that's going to ship it. Yeah, because we could be buying this out of somebody's garage down the street here, and they'd be like, have a nice day. Yeah. And then we've got to do everything ourselves. He's somebody we trust, and this bike is possibly something we can make money. Something we can make the money on. Make a money on. Ten thousand euros. When I hear him come in at ten thousand, I know we're going the right way. If we can meet somewhere in the middle here, we bought a bike. Think of it this way: you're going to handle the shipping, handle it, getting into the container and stuff like that. We're going to pay you for that. Yeah. So that'll be some money on top. You'll pay for it. Get a little money for brokering it. 
think about that when the final price comes in. I'm thinking, you know what, since he's Mr. Shipper, maybe he can make some money off that, off the facilitating the container. Which was brilliant on his part, because Flavio doesn't care what side of the fence the money comes from, as long as, as, long as the money is coming in. Yeah. For all this reason that you say to me, I, I, can, I can give you for uh, 8,000 euros. 8,000 euros, and then plus, well, you get the shipping and the shipping. Yeah, that's what I want to All get right. I bought the Zoomdop KS750 for 8,000 euros. That's like 10,500 US. I'm going to ask between 15 and $18,000. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. All right, again. we'll be in touch. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. It's flea markets, it's people's homes.